Oh, it's a beautiful day today. It's probably in the 20s, but it's sun shining. You can hear the cars out here. Everyone is out doing something, and I'm gonna be one of these people. I'm taking you on a little trip. I hope you enjoy this. I am uh, John Miller, and I operate uh, Chameleon Antenna here in Sparks, Nevada. Uh, the origins of Chameleon Antenna come from California, actually. And in 2016, we moved out of California here to uh, Sparks. Well, fortunately, we moved here in in August of last year, moving from the tiny location that we had prior to that where we had just simply become non-functional. And we've over doubled our square footage here at the new facility and life is a lot easier now. We make exclusively antennas for the HF amateur market. Primarily portable uh, antennas, uh, most of our antennas are well suited for portable use although they can be used in, in a permanent setting as well. So they're pretty flexible in that regard. And out front here is where we do most of the building. There's the uh, LEFS sloper antenna right there being assembled as we speak. You can take the wire that comes with it. Here's one that uh, Mike is working on right here, getting ready to put the uh, coil on it. But you can wrap the wire on one side and you're, we give you 50 feet of uh, cord to go with it. Wrap it up on the other side so it's all one unit here. Our flagship antenna right now is the Impass 2.0. It's our most Lego set-ish antenna that we make right now. It's very versatile. It can be used in a number of different settings and in different configurations. This is the uh, base transformer for our vertical system, uh, impasse 2.0s, impasse lights. Uh, this is the big brother, the 500 watt unit. We also have the smaller unit that is the 100 watt version. Uh, not working on those at the moment. Who uses your antenna? What kind of user? It runs the gamut really. Because they're unobtrusive when erected, most of our antennas are very good for people who live in HOA scenarios. Uh, or otherwise have uh, limited options for putting up an outside antenna. Our vertical impasse 2.0, uh, impasse light, for example, very good for that. For the uh, apartment dwellers or those in condos and townhouses, they ought to take a look at our uh, F-Loop 3.0 and uh, Mag-Loop antenna. So this is some of the wire that we use. There's some of the coax for the F-Loop. And then all these big boxes are nothing but bags for the uh, impasse antenna. And I uh, do testing right here, so, uh, and a little bit of chit chat here and there too. The, the wire antennas, we can use the analyzer and we put a load box on them. Oh, okay. This thing right here that simulates the wire, tells us whether or not it's working or not. The F loop antenna, I actually do an on air test because you can't, can't use a load box. A couple boxes full of. Uh, Coupling loops for the F loop antenna. Got a, a few hundred of those to put together. So, this is our antenna. Our, this is the 2.0 version of the F loop. The 3.0 version is a different enclosure. The jacket is uh, Teflon and is rated for 50 below, so it won't crack in cold weather. 100 watts? Oh no, a lot more than that. Out in the open, it might be good for legal limit. Builders who have that kind of power are typically building their own antennas or they have beams, okay? Right. And so they're, they're big contesters, typically. I want to thank Don and John over at Chameleon Antennas for giving us a tour of the shop, selling me an antenna that I really wanted, and being so hospitable. That was really fun. You guys are really awesome over there. And of course, I encourage anybody else, if you're wanting to go see them, give them a call, send them an email, set up a time, and see what they do over there. Well, if you like this kind of video, make sure you click that like button down below. Not only does it help the video, but it helps the channel. And of course, if you're new here, well, consider subscribing to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. And of course, if you want to see more videos on setting up portable or radio use, check out this one over here, or even over here.